outside with beautiful Ashley. More down the centre, showing plenty of beautiful eyes, who's racing together with Queen Ollie. And they've been tracked through by She's Hot. More towards the near side, then beautiful eyes, ladder some of the horse out of the centre. Right towards the sand side is Double O in black and white, fully wet now, making that run towards the middle of the track. They make their way through halfway, meditate Lady Bullet, I beat the love, the leading three. From beautiful Ashley, Red the Longest Morge, Lander Sun is still prominent, and then Queen Ollie. Kathy come home trying to get involved in the blue and white colours as they race now down towards the final quarter mile. It is Meditate who's come through to lead. Lady Bullet is battling away, then I beat the love, running on distant behind is Ivory Madonna, then beautiful Ashley and Morge. More near side coming into it late on is Queen Ollie, but Meditate goes home inside the final goal. Queen Ollie pressing towards the near side. Morge is close up between them, and then Ivory Madonna is Meditate. Second, then Ivory Madonna and Queen Ollie, followed close up by Sydney Arms Chelsea, then Lady Bullet and Alvinia. There you go, it's another win for Aidan O'Brien, who is definitely leading trainer now this week so far at Royal Ascot. Uh, Ryan Moore on board, stretching ahead of Morge there, and it looked like Ivory Madonna, who's um, finished in third but that was decisive Kevin and uh, you've mentioned her very positively beforehand yeah she was very strong late on Alex and that, that was a that was a feature of her first two runs you know she didn't necessarily go through the race terribly strongly but in the final furlong what was her best and she was up in the box seat here the whole way she was leading her disputing from the outset and really it was inside the final furlong that she really began to pour it on and look Aidan O'Brien came into this week a little bit lighter than usual with his three-year-olds and his older horses, but had a fine team of two-year-olds. And now he's had a second run of the week, both by No Nay Never. With Asair having a big, big year. This is his first crop of uh, expensively bred two-year-olds, we'll call them. And they're certainly stepping up to the mark as hopes. Sheen, have you been impressed with what you've seen here? Yeah, Kevin and I uh, were actually speaking about her around the paddock, how strong she is through her body. I thought Ryan gave her a fantastic ride. It's hard to make all year. You tend to get attacked early. Ryan controlled the fractions. He moved away from the horses that were putting some pressure on him on his right hand side uh, in the early parts of the race. He shifted a little bit left to get that bit of room so she'd relax a little bit better. And she's hit the line very strong. Look, he's a world class rider. We see time after time again why he's got big race winners all over the world. And you weren't far off the mark with Morge. I mean, she's run a really solid race in second. She has. I uh, feel a little bit for her. Um, perhaps Ray would have ridden her more prominently. She seemed to hit the line strongly, but I don't think there's any excuses. The best filly won on the day. And as you're saying, she, she looks like one that will certainly get to seven a, mo a mile in the fullness of time. It might just have been a too sharp of a test for her at this stage of her career, maybe. She's, she didn't travel nearly as well as the winner. Yeah, Kevin's dead right there. Look, she's bred to probably stay a little bit further. Exceed and excels a mile as well within their compass. Freddie, it's uh, another winner for Aiden O'Brien. She remains unbeaten. This filly, she was an expensive yearling, yearling and she looks like she's got a great attitude. Absolutely. She cost €360,000. She was bought at the Arcana sale from Jamie McCowan, who was one of the main buyers for the Kumar team. And look, she's done everything nicely. She's already a Group 3 winner over at Nace. That was second time out. And obviously, this looks like a filly with a big, big future. Yeah, she's exciting. And Ryan, another winner. Let's have a look. Drawn over in four. And let's have a look when they, they break. She breaks pretty smartly there, Rasheen. And the lower draws do seem to have been dominating up this straight track. Yeah, I wouldn't look too much into it, uh, Alex. In, in reality, I don't think the ground's any faster on that side versus the middle, for example. Ryan was very clever. Uh, he, we just saw, if you're watching the screen, he had a look around over his left shoulder. He, um, By doing that, he's disencouraging the jockeys around him to come and take him on. He manages to set his own fractions. They're going very steady here. Everything's kind of travelling on the bridle. And look, it was just a very clever ride from Ryan. Yeah, he's, uh, he's still one of the best in the world, isn't he? Yeah, he has big race experience. Riding in these races is no hassle to him. Uh, some ladies and, and gents don't get this opportunity all the time, but Ryan would have more rides than anyone at a meeting like this. I tell you, Alex, just draw attention to the horses finished third there. Ivory Madonna, she's ended up coming from further back than the two to beat her. She came in here a maiden, having run well the first time out for, for Richard Spencer. And here's a little fact for you. Her dam, Clem Fandango, finished third in the Queen Mary going back six years ago. So she's emulated her mother in finishing third in the Royal 